Tommy Long and Frederick Powell. Eighth last year at the World Championships at and at the Olympics, the French champions, Dominic Yvon and Frédéric Palouel, are in seventh spot right now after the two compulsory dances, but they've actually lost a position since the retirement of the Duchesneys and Engie and Toth. In fact, they've lost it to their younger teammates, Monyat and Levant. Well, even though they were eighth at the Olympics, in this particular portion of the competition, they were ninth. Their teammates were ahead of them. So this is not their particular best portion of the competition. For well, one of the things that is to be avoided in the original dance and throughout the ice dance competition is skating or standing on two feet. And I think if you watch this one closely, you'll perhaps see a little bit more of that than usual. is to try and use every beat of the music to try and keep up with the music and you, you find that this team uses every second beat at times. wasn't there. They're not crisp in their delivery and that is paramount in this dance and at times I found them a little bit animated for my liking. They are veterans. This is their fourth world championship. It would have been their fifth but they suffered a terrible injury just prior to the Halifax world championship. She slammed her head against the ice and suffered cranial trauma lost some vision and they were off the ice for four months. Despite the criticisms, the marks are there up to a 5-4 from the French judge. Well, Chris, you mentioned injury to this dance team and injury has been a problem with the French ice dancers as they were eligible to have a third team here at the competition. They made the trip but could not compete because of a leg injury to a female in the number three dance team. For the presentation marks, five first place marks and four second place marks in the original dance and Ivana Palowell have taken over the lead ahead of Marizova Simicek and Peter Janishak. Thank you. Representing the Commonwealth 